Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Steven Roth and I'm a board certified oral and maxillofacial pathologist. I have a confession to make. I love reality TV. Some may even go so far as to call it trash TV, but there's something about watching over-dramatized real life situations that helps me blow off steam after a long day of reading slides and rendering diagnoses. One of my favorites is TLC's 90 Day Fiance. The premise of this show, for those that haven't seen or heard of it, is that in the United States, we have a visa process called the K-1 visa. The K-1 or fiancé visa is a non-immigrant visa that allows a non-citizen fiancé of an American citizen to enter the country. The catch is that the couple must marry within 90 days of the non-citizen entering the United States. Once married, the fiancé on the visa may convert the status to lawful permanent resident, aka green card holder. One of the breakout stars of the series is Ed Big Ed Brown, who was featured on season four of the spinoff 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days. Big Ed traveled to the Philippines to meet his girlfriend and future potential fiancé, Rosemary Vega. In a few days, I'm getting ready to get on a plane and go meet Rose, the love of my life, for the very first time. Big Ed was no stranger to controversy during his season, but he also brought to light a specific syndrome called Klippel File Syndrome. But I'm here to have a serious conversation about um, KFS. It's called Klippel File Syndrome. I figured I'd review this syndrome from a scientific and medical perspective for anyone that wants to learn more. First, we have to get into that disclaimer, and that is that all opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone, and do not represent any organization that may employ me or that I may belong to, and that this video is for educational purposes only and should not serve as medical advice. Should you have any questions or concerns about your oral or systemic health, please see your nearest oral or systemic health care provider. Also, just a quick note, many people have used Big Ed's physical appearance to bully or troll him on the internet. Let me be clear that no one should be made fun of based on their physical appearance or visible differences. I certainly don't agree with most, if any, of Big Ed's decisions and definitely don't endorse how he treats other people. This is um, mouthwash. And I got you a cute toothbrush. This your breath is not um, pretty. He should be held accountable for his actions, and it's okay to disagree or even dislike him based on his statements and decisions. But it is never okay to make fun of anyone with a visible difference. Okay, off the soapbox and on to reviewing this syndrome. Klippel file syndrome results in a congenital or from birth fusion of two or more vertebrae of the cervical spine in the neck. This fusion usually results in a short neck, restrictive head movements, and visible abnormality. These abnormalities include a low hairline, as well as a more flattened appearance of the neck. Other spinal abnormalities, including scoliosis, spina bifida, and absent rib or rib defects, which occur in around 30% of patients, may also be noted. These vertebral abnormalities may lead to neurologic complications. In addition to vertebral anomalies, cranial facial bones may also be affected, resulting in cleft palate, or hearing impairment, which is observed in one-fourth to one-half of all patients. Eye abnormalities, including strabismus or eye convergence, nystagmus or rapid eye movement, or defects of ocular tissue called colobomas may occur. Some patients with KFS have kidney defects, including absent or horseshoe-shaped kidneys. KFS is an autosomal dominant syndrome, resulting from mutations in the GDF6 gene on the long arm of chromosome 8, which plays a role in creating cartilage of the vertebral discs. That's my short review of Klippel File Syndrome. Hopefully this sheds some light on this condition, which has been spotlighted by Big Ed from 90 Day Fiancé. Be sure to check out the other videos in my syndrome series. Also, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like and to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and be well. I like the view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Me. Mm.